Alright, there we are. Let's cut this music off. Although it is great. Alright, we are getting ready to get started here in the quarterfinal match. We've got Team Mosley, Team Koontz. Team Koontz, you just watched in the round of 10, defeat Team D Antonis. I think that was 711 to 675. Uh, large separation here in the handicap. You have, as Koontz says, good morning. Team Mosley handicap 114. Team Koontz handicap is 19. It is a 95 pin separation off the rip for Mosley. Dave Hughes, who was joining us as the uh, master of all this setup, um, he was here during the round of 10. He is now off to our right on 27 and 28, bowling in the quarterfinals himself. His team had a phenomenal Saturday and Friday. So they are here bowling today, and my team did not quite have that luck. So that's why I'm here. First pitch from JD. He's off the side for six. Three, nine, and ten. The opening pitch from Tom is a good one. Nice break for the four pin. We got a lot to keep up with here. Running, running, running the calls, running the scoreboard. Nice conversion from JD, sparing the first. One, three, nine, and ten. Strike to Mose. Tom at the four pin to answer. Just left. And an opening nine. If you ask me, I'll do. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you got to move that back now. Turn that back. Turn it back. Turn it back. Tell me where. He hit the camera. Ah, more? That's good. Good, all right. For now. I did. Oh, you did? Yes. You're fine. You go worry about bowling. Jeremy nowhere near the head pin on the first ball. Comes back, hits it on ball two. This guy off the left on the seven pin. Coming back to the nine pinner just a bit heavy. And it's an opening eight for Jeremy. Correction, seven. You ask me. Let's see what cleanup we can get here from Sky. Do better then. Hey, I, I, I will. Hey, I will. I will caution you. There is a microphone on that camera too. Thank you. Oh no. I hope this is all in Cinemax. <laughs> Alright, going for the cleanup here. And only five. Oh, a slow start there for Sky. First ball from Eric is a good one. Ten pin left behind. Let's see what Danny does here in the first. Great pitch, just a bit heavy. Eric shooting the ten in the first. And he's got it. SVP! Hey! Nice bid there on the middle rip, but just off right. So, it'll be three opens to start for Team Mosley. And it's two out of three on spares for Team Coons. And, we help. Billy Coots in the first box. That is, they asked for help and none was provided. 4-10 split. Great 
great ball there for the play. Just a 10 pin behind. Good effort there from Billy. So, Billy will be open. Play at the 10 pin. And off left. So trade open frames there. Nine for Billy. Now once again, when I'm reading out the total pinfall scores, it is going to sound a bit skewed at first, but that is because Team Mosley has a 95 pin head start and handicap. This is a handicapped event. Clay goes nine out. So it is going to be the objective of Team Clint to slowly catch up as this game progresses. Bernie Hipkins in the first, coming off of a 180, I believe, was the score. Great pitch for him, seven pin. Um, there is a microphone on that camera, yes. So, PG-13, maybe? Bernie at the seventh inning, yes. So, three out of five spares there in the first frame for Coots. And a cover here from Joe to save the frame for Mosley. Off left, so it's going to be 0 for 5 to start to Mosey. So, an early opportunity to pull back some sticks. Maybe roughly 20 to 30 sticks here. Pull back, please. This is what they have to do all game to make up a 95 pin deficit. You have to be out marking your opponent. Tom now up second frame. And that is the 1, 2, 4, 6, and 10. JD's first spare fill of the game. It's a pretty great one, does get the kick out. So, 7th pin standing for him, 19 in the first. And a nice cup of time. 1, 2, 4, 6, and 10. Takes it on the outside. Did the unconventional approach. I prefer to shoot the hole and to pluck the ball over, but he has it nonetheless. And two spares in a row for JD. Sky off the left corner. there from his teammates, but he's going to be left with the 1, 4, 7, and 9. Sky looking for some wood here. She'll get it. Nice shot. Out for Jeremy. Sorry, correction nine out. So it takes the nine. 16 through two for him. Opening pitch for Danny in the second. Leaves her the one and three behind. Spare opportunity, no doubt. Just left. Great pitch from Eric. Strike on spare, no doubt. Good job, man. Felt, baby. Let's go. And Danny takes nine out. 17 through two for her. 30 plus through two for her. Get up. Down. Billy, a little thin. 5'10 standing. 
Nice pitch from Clay, 5-8. And an open end from Billy. Nine out for Billy. And Clay, an opportunity here to pull Mark back. Oh, it's off left. Wow. So two openings to start for Clay. If he gets two pins of wood here, we'll be beating his man, 1918. <laughs> and has them both. Uh -huh. So 19 to 18. Bernie up on a spare in the first. Good ball or too good. I will see you tomorrow night. Joe just pinch high. Good bid from Bernie, not quite. Joe shooting the two and two. Who went for the touch on the three pin, not quite there. Bernie threw that hole for eight out. 25 in the second for him. So we're going to be two hits for one hit in favor of Coots. And rough wood there for Joe, only six. After two frames, it is Mosley, 200, Coots, 137. 63 pin lead for Mosley. And Mosley is down a hit. That will help. Strike on spare for Tom, a nice pitch, getting the five off the wall. A little slow, but he'll take it. 29 in the second, a strike up in the third. JD's on two spares. Attempts to answer the barbaric cry of Billy Coots coming for the five. And it's not quite there. Much better first ball there from Danny. Six. One. Six and nine. JD shooting the five for three consecutive spares. Just as he knew he had it as soon as it fell. Great start for him. And just off the open for Scott. Just a pinch high for Jeremy. Well thrown ball. Just crept up a bit. Yes, uh, Ray Keith will be providing uh, very audible commentary uh, about 27 and 28. Whether you can see it or not, you can get a, a taste for how the game is going, depending on how often he is screaming and what he is screaming. So, the cleanup for Sky gives her 9 out. And Jeremy just sliding by on the 2 and 1. Jeremy going to be three opens as well to start the match. Nine out. 25 to 24. He's up on his own. Danny now up in the third. She's got two opens to start at 17. And off the side for five. Eric back here chit chatting. Now he's approaching the lanes. Eric started out nine spare strike. Just the kind of start you need in a match like this. That's one way to go for it. Not quite there though. There will be three opens to start the match for Danny. Eric for the double. He's there. Ooh, five stands.
Oh, Eric, just off the five. That's a mistake. And Eric will take 10. 49 in the third to 26. I can't see that on here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't quite see that on here. I could until Billy hit the camera. Yeah, it's all good. That's a great sound. And a nice cover there for Clay. First mark of the match for him. The 1 3 conversion. Coop's going for that 1 3 5 7, leaves the 5 behind. And he has nine. Three consecutive nines to start for him. Put that in the wrong box. Two. There we are, nine. All right. Joe looking to get on the board. He is off the side, one, two, four. That might be what he needs right here. Just a nice easy pitch out. Ernie, a solid nine pin. Great pitch. Hope you all can hear me okay. Now you can hear Ray very well. And Joe's got it. Just what the doctor ordered. So, mostly going to be on three hits here. And the conversion there for Ernie. Well. After three frames, it is 258, 203 in favor of Mosley, and Mosley actually up a hit. 55 and a hit for Mosley. JD beats the side. Let's watch that one again. Bing Bong, what you like? Here it comes, ready? Bing Bong, he says, and he's got it. Very weird hit there for Tom. Scoreboard showing eight. That is seven. That is the two, seven, eight, and the eight pin has done something funky. We're going to have to get a, a manual Deadwood clear there. Give JD his strike. No way Jeremy does it too, does he? Jeremy off the side for eight. Leaves the one and three. Yes, John, indeed. Oh, not quite. That was a fortunate break there. Jeremy just sliding by there. Tom now shooting that 278. Joe. The camera just the back of your head. Normally his head's on view of cameras. No, it, it, he was just high enough. up here, Jeremy with 10. Uh, Steinow up in the fourth, looking to get a mark. Back, wide right. Eric now up in his fourth, he's got 49 through three. Great ball that crept up heavy. He's got the two and the 10. Better ball from Sky. That's seven. Eric at the 210. Hung it out there. Gave it a good effort.
seven out for Scott. up on and open. He's had three nine boxes to start. He's left the check mark now, the two, four, five, and seven. And he's got it. So first mark of the game for Billy Coops. See if Danny can respond here. Two marks on the board already in this box for Coops. Mosley yet to mark. And that is the two eight. Seven. I don't see that very often. Well. He's going to be looking for a big cleanup effort here. That's the top only five. So 31 through four for Dane. Bernie up on a spare. Ten pin, maybe a messenger. Ten pin stand, nine count. Forty-four through three. Playoff on a spare. That was his first mark of the game. Looking to load it, and he loads it. Seven pin last to fall. Very helpful strike in the fourth play on his spare. Bernie to go two spares in a row. Uncharacteristic miss single. It's his third miss single of the morning. He's uh, not too thrilled about that. Five off the wall. Joe drops the ball. 220 boxes on the bottom for Mosley. That is very helpful. They're now going to be going into the fifth frame even on hits. What a great save of that box. Ten up for Bernie after four frames. 327, 270. It is a 57 pin lead for Mosley, and they are even on hits, two apiece. JD starting off the fifth for Coops. He's got one of their hits. It's a strike, not a double. 5 8. Tom on a nine box. Left that funky split last frame. Comes back with a nice ball, a light hit, mixes them up for the 10 pin. JD, too thin on the 5 8. He's going to have a nice half, though. He'll be in the high 80s. Tom covers. Great shot. Had it all the way. 10 for JD. 66 plus and 87 are the scores on the top. Good half for both of them. Sky still looking to get on the board. Great ball. Oh, a tough great four five. Yet to mark in this game as well. And he's off the side for six, the one, two, four, and ten. Went for the touch on the outside and not quite. Five opens to start the match here for Jeremy. It'll be five opens as well to start the match for Sky. She's going for a nine box here, only eight. 39 through five for her, and a seven box, 42. So not the first half that either of them would have liked to have. Couldn't really lift it. But 
10 pin nonetheless. <laughs> that same hit in that same position, if he lifts on that ball a little more, might actually be carried for the strike. But no nine, not a bad ball. Good ball for Danny. Come on, one more. Nope. Seven, eight, stand. Looking like it's going to be five opens for her to start as well. Eric covers. <laughs> nice bid. <laughs> Nine out for Danny. Get off. Forty. Forty five for her. Billy was up on a spare, a nice ball. A little flat in the top. Eight count to 10, 45 through four. He's got the spare. Get the pocket in the front of the shirt up there, Clay, now, bottom two here on Mosey. Both opportunities to double. Clay to fire first. Looks good. Just a bit high. Leaves the southwest way to Oak. And the six pin fine on Barney. Barney coming off a missed single in the fourth. That would have been a nine count. So it's a wood drop there. Play at the two and one. And he pulls it. Seven count. 56 through four. Bernie just, just had some three marks in the pit, four hoops. And eight out for Clay, gives him 64. There is still a lead here for Mosley, but it seems to be dwindling a bit. A double here would get them even on hitch going into the sixth frame. He's there, and he's got it. Nine down. Very clutch double there from Joe on the bottom. So after five, it is 389, 334 in favor of Mosley. The hits are now even three apiece. Time to fire first. He is on a spare. That hurts. Cuts the duck only two. JD is on an open. He went nine on ten out last frame. Missed a two pinner. And he's got another two pinner to uh, contend with here. Six to ten this time. Tom put a bit on the eight pinner, but a bit heavy. So Tom will be open. <laughs> Count becomes important. They all add up. Yeah, JD's got this one. Eight out for Tom. That mark is effectively a wash. Two on eight out is as good as two ten boxes. That's a shame. First ball just crept left on him. Jeremy. 42 through 5. Has not marked yet this game. All right. Catches a break there. A little light on the pocket. Three pins standing. Guy off left for the first pitch. Back ball there from Sky, just the full thing standing now for her 10 box. 
this quick jam cat out. Looking over at another lane. Let's see what you have. Show me, Eric. You have a spare one. He did convert. His first mark of the game for Jeremy, the first 10 of the game for Scott. A nice comeback there after that gutter ball. Currently a 55 pin advantage for Mosley, but the hits are coming in high and often from Coots. So they've got to try and maintain this lead. Eric flat in the pocket. Takes an 8 count, leaves them 5 and 9. 75 through 5 for him, a nice half. Definitely on a better pace than his last game. Nice ball from Danny, come on. Brutal. 5 10 standing. Eric at 2, and has them both. Two consecutive spares for Eric. Danny's got a little bit of late finish on her ball, right to left. So if she shoots five pin here, I'd like, I'd like to see her have a chance. A good bit at it. She's got her wood though. They all add up. Barrage and Mark's coming now from Team Coons. They're on five spares in a row. That might put an end to it though. Eight count for Billy. 63 through five. And Danny cleans up for his 10, 50.6. Billy shooting the 5 and 7. Takes the Bernie Hipkins around the world approach. Not quite there. Clay after that great 20 box, left 7 on 8 out. Um, crept up high, left the 2 and 1. He's there again. And he's too heavy. Drop the middle. Hit a stick of drop wood there from Billy. Eight on nine out. 72 through six for him. Play takes one side out. Nice clean up there, one side at a time for play. 10 out. 74 through 6. Both bowlers on the bottom on Marks. Bernie's on a spare fire at first. And a great pitch. How does that six pin stand up? Joe on two strikes, looking for three. Chance. Five off the wall. He's got a triple. Joe is carrying the team right now. Three marks on the board. Four coops. Bernie misses a single again. Really just pulled up on that one. So they're going to be up hits anyway. So got it for 10. Let's come back and made both miss singles this game for 10. After six frames. 459, 408, Mosley up 51, down a hit. JD attempting to cut into that deficit. A great ball, but it was a little too good. Only four. Tom with a nice pitch. Seven pin left behind. JD goes for the squeeze on the three pin. Let's go through the hole. Wood becomes important. They don't want to fall too far behind. They will start running out of frames. Tom's got it. Spare in the seventh for him. That is three consecutive marks on lane 23. And that one hurts. Five out. Four on, five out. So there goes their one hit. Add an extra hit, and there it goes. This guy coming off a 10 box. Takes out four and seven. 
Jeremy trying to pull back some momentum here. Filling his first mark of the game. He's on a spare. Dropped that one at the line, but fortunate to get seven. Yeah, see the smile on his face. He knows he dropped it. I think we all know he dropped it. As Sky goes through that hole, she put in the first ball. Takes ten out though. Oh. Sky looking for here. Sky, where's she going? She went five. That pretty much cancels out the tough frame of JD. So currently a forty pin lead for Mosley, and they're up two hits. Danny on it open takes five. Eric has the one hit remaining in the place. Chance. He's there. Four pin defiant. Three nine count. Definitely help him shift into the deficit. Danny shooting the one, three, six, and ten with the eight pin in back. And that's the eight she gets. Got the four. Okay, got it. That is three consecutive spares for her. Nine, eight, and nine on his first balls. Danny looking for a wood clean up here. Has two of them, thanks to the cushion. Beat out for her, 58 through seven. Bing bong! Bing bong, they say. Really trips out the five and ten for his drop. Billy doing his best to avoid getting his big giant head in the way of the camera. And play says, that's nice, Billy, but watch it, watch me do it better. Look at that again. Watch this. They are gone. Wow. Solid hit for play. I'll make him shoot it. Make him shoot it, they say. Bernie breaks another single. This one, the 10 pin. Oh, that's why I'm in the wrong box. Play going for the, sorry. Joe going for the four bagger, almost steals it. Nine count. Oh, just again, just hitting the safety. So a nice bottom three there for Coots. Three marks from the last three bowlers. A conversion here, and they are even on hits. And Joe has got it. What a great four, What a great five frames here for Joe. After seven, five twenty-one, four seventy-three. I think Mosey did a great job avoiding a disaster there. As uh, Coots was coming on the charge. But uh, even hits and 48 pins apart. Great ball from Tom. That's on a spare and that's a strike. That ain't going to make their comeback efforts any easier. 106 in the eighth plus for Tom. JD 6 and 10. Um, duck pins forever, the number four, right there on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It, if you're on Facebook, there's a link to it on Facebook. JD sliding by that two pinner. Sky leaving herself a two pinner. First mark of the game, possibly. And no better time for it. JD picks up 
six and nine out. I said, when you ducked, they still saw your, your head. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. By that two and one. Jeremy looking to get back on the board. They need him. Great pitch. Messenger. Behind and in front of the tent. Danny, nine out. A nice single pin conversion in the right corner. <laughs> Bottom three bowlers here for Coombs, all on hits. Bottom two bowlers here for Mosley on hits. Clay threw a beautiful square glass frame looking to put another one behind it. And he does. What a great, what a great finish here. Play. Do you mind if I wait till you go? Eric up on the square. Do you mind if I wait till you go? Get up! I'm mine. Another 5-4 pin. I'm mine. It's a great 9 count. He's right there on the first ball. Like this. His first ball average. He's not in the first ball lower than 8. 9, 10, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, and 9. He's got it again. There you go, MVP. Mr. Consistent here. Another high count spare on the board. Joe on a spare in the seventh at 125. Looking to fill it. Off the side for seven. See if Billy can catch the two timer. Off the side, walks it up for one. Leaves the one and nine. Joe just shaving off that one, three, and six. What a great frame there from those four counts. Four hits. Isn't that great? Great response. Well, we have the opportunity here for any catch of the mark to be four thousand to win. I would say correction. 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 Quite double. They're on five hits. So they're gonna be up at least one hit, possibly two, and they're looking at a forty something pin lead. See what Bernie does. They fall when they needed it for the three six. It's not a single, so I like his chances. Any single pin shooting has been less than desirable today. Especially for someone who is the number one bowler in the country last year. At 3-6. He's got it. When the single pin has a friend, sometimes it becomes a little easier. Five hits to four. What a great box of yeah, that was. JD, the only open on his team. Get up to fire in the ninth. And he's there again and heavy again. Two consecutive middle reps on lane 24. Tom off the side, only five, but he's on a strike, so he'll have another chance to come back and count. Let's see if JD can pull some magic here on the two and two. Ace through the hole. Well, some way or another, Tom took seven. And seven out for JD, that one. 
anything about how bad you're throwing the ball. I think you've gotten some... Yeah. some. Yeah. Yeah, you've, you've had a... You've just been a pinch off a couple times. Both bowlers sliding by their single. 
I do not have a unobstructed view to the three. I'm looking at everything off the monitor here because I'm down below the viewers area. And there's people sitting and standing in front of me, so I'm looking at everything off the monitor, so sometimes it's hard to tell if there is a sleeper pin or not. Jeremy is going to be open. Fuck oh, that one right there. Nine out for a 104. <laughs> I thought you were going to throw it in the face of What? This guy finishing out 93. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? Eric with the opportunity for a big score here. Oh, my! Right on time. Reentry, folks. He's ready to bowl. Scott Van Pelt with the double. <laughs> Another strike with authority. Do it two more times. I'll give you a kiss. Oh, it is See if she covered. Nope. A great ball, though. 3 7. That wood is plenty. Uh, to say the least, Eric's going to need another strike. Cushion! Oh! That was closer than it should have been. Good for them. Well, that's exciting. Was it high scoring? Oh, uh, that's. Yeah. That about does it in this game. And he cleans up for 10. Hey, guess what video I'm not watching later? <laughs> guess what video is not in the spank bank? I want to watch me beat Colin Bill for the ninth time. Oh, so there we go, 96. Okay. It's the only good video I have. And Eric finishes 9. A very nice 174. Almost mathematically impossible. For them to come back. Play drops nine. This is a must strike. Right? Well, oh. now, now they're bowling. Oh, it's easy now. Let's watch that one. Fuck our lives. Bing bong. Oh, it's just. Boom. They're throwing some haymakers here at the end of this game. And it's covered by Clay. Another. Wait for it. Boo! Get off my lane. I imagine. Six pins apart. It's always a duty. This game all but over. The load for Clay is off the side of nine. He finishes out. A nice 149. And Billy goes nine out on his strike to finish out with a nice 134. So we are going into the last bowler, 45 pins apart. Bernie can shoot 50 pins at most. Jody has three pins on this ball to shut him out. How about nine? 
and they're moving on. So, easy enough. Now that the match is over, Bernard will most certainly drop a double on this pitch. Most certainly. Yes! Yes! Or hits the six and a half. Right side. You do not have it in you. And Joe at the bottom of the two here on the end of the game. Joe 173 and a ball remaining. I made twenty five dollars. See if Bernie puts on a shot here. I, Give us some entertainment for the uh, for the viewers at home. Come on. Oh, Touch. Boo. Oh, no. Boo. Uh, Simpleton takes his move. Front. Throw it overhand. Hit the speaker. Get mad. What a great finish. Sir Dominant. Face plate. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! That was incredible. <laughs> that is. That, don't try that at home, folks. Do not try that at home. Thirty nine out. Oh my gosh. The final score, if I can even keep it together, is Mosley 767, Toots 712. It ended up being a 55 minute victory for Mosley. Toots uh, just could not cover all the marks that Mosley put up late in the match. I even, I even, I didn't see it. I had to go to instant replay. That is awesome. One of the shots of the year.